Welcome back everyone, it's Effenhusa57 here. I am back on Neverwinter on the Xbox One with yet another opening video for you. So hopefully you guys are pretty excited. Today I will be opening 83 of the item, A Barrel of Goods. So this isn't the best item that you can get, but a lot of people asked me about getting uh, profession resources early on and some refinement, things like that. I will be opening these during a double per, or uh, double actual enchantments and runestones event. So, going to get the most out of it that way. Now, the way you get the item is actually through the profession leadership. And it's a relatively early on item that you can get. About level 16, you can get it through the fight off the spell plagued uh, quest or task, you should say. You get one in six hours. You also get some copper and some XP and everything. So not really bad. Um, not the absolute best item in the game, but it's an easy way to get some extra refinement, some healing potions at low level, and a very good way to stock up on profession resources. Let's go ahead and open them. So right off the bat, I have a pretty good box. I have two bills of sale. Uh, charcoal, exotic leather, ornamental mithrials, the steel blades, and I have three kits, skill kits. And the thing about skill kits is you have to buy them with copper. So they're not too expensive, but when you're starting out in the game, it's an extra expense that you don't need to have. Or if you want to farm the skill nodes, this is an excellent way to get the resources to do it. And again, people might say, oh, well, those are white items. Those aren't any good. They actually are. When you're starting a profession, if you want to level it fast, you don't want to have to sit there and make, oh, let me turn mithril ore into, you know, ornamental mithril or, you know, iron ore into steel blades. You don't want to have to do that basic crap. You just want to make the stuff that gives you the most XP. So that's why you make items like this and open them. Healing potions, bill of sale. As you can see, you're going to get a lot of white items. But I'm also going to get good items too, like Quicksilver, Lesser Marks of Potency, Emerald Vitral, Green Vitral. Those are items that are used in alchemy. Very helpful if you're going to do any kind of alchemy later on, down the road even. Simple Maps. Those are good. The District Maps. Those are very good if you're working on leveling up your leadership. Uh, got some Moon Sea Salt off of that. Now, most of these health potions, because I'm level 70, I'm not going to keep. But I'll throw them up on the auction house and sell them real cheap. Yeah, see, I got two district maps, bolt of cloth, ornamental steel, ornamental mithril, plus the dungeoneering and nature kits. So that was actually a pretty good, pretty good box. And the rank twos, brimstone and charcoal. That's nice. Got brimstone and charcoal. Too bad I can't make gunpowder. Hint, hint, never winner. Oh, ornamental iron. Thank you. I needed that for a profession. More of these tower district maps. That's nice. Coal and gems. We'll go through these fairly quickly because they don't have a super large assortment of rewards that's about half of them as you can see and i did get some better potions now i don't need those potions and i don't need the arcane kits because i'm a wizard so those i'm just going to discard go back to opening more some raw gems that's good more of those district maps more leather Ooh, there we go. We got blue items. We got two of the region maps. Those are definitely a higher level resource for uh, leadership. So they're very good to have. Now you'll see I am basically kind of full on uh, items. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I do best, which is sell those health potions. Because there are lower level people out there that don't want to buy them. They don't sell for much. But instead of discarding them, I'll go ahead and put them up on the market for 100 diamonds. So some low-level person that needs some health potions can go ahead and get some easy ones. A 
because mostly what I want is the actual profession resources. And also, those lesser marks of potency, those sell pretty well. So, I'm going to be selling a lot of this stuff and using some of it for refinement. Some things don't sell well. Uh, it does help if you have a lot of inventory space, which I don't have a lot of inventory space. So, that's why it's taken a little bit longer. And you see, I have to keep deleting an item because, oh my god, I have stuff in my overflow bag. Oh my god, you have stuff in your overflow bag. Yeah, fuck off game. There we go. That was actually a good one. Brimstone and exotic leather. I needed that. So right off the bat, what am I going to do? I'm going to use the junk refinement, which now to me, this is junk refinement. But depending on what your level is, this refinement might actually be good. You can reference my uh, refining enchantments guide if you need. The other stuff I'm actually going to sell here in a minute. And if you had the inventory space, you could hold on to all of this for a double refinement event. I don't have the inventory space, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now I'm going to go ahead and I would normally keep the skill kits, but I don't really need the skill kits right now. So I'm going to sell the most expensive of the items, which are going to be these lesser marks. I'm going to go ahead and enlist seven of them for 6,000 diamonds. And I guarantee you somebody will definitely buy those. And I'll put up the white pearls. Because that's the type of refinement that people do buy occasionally. And we'll make it really cheap because I want to quick sell them. So I'll put it up for 1,300 diamonds. Basically, I get like 7,300 diamonds off of that. And if I really wanted to, I could hold on to the skill kits, use them myself for skill nodes. But at the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sell them for the gold because I can use that. So all in all, I made a bunch of refinement off of this, which is really good. I made some diamonds off of it, and I got a crap ton of profession resources. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure you leave a comment. Otherwise, smash the like button and subscribe for more content. It greatly helps out with the searchability of videos here on YouTube. And until next time, stay frosty.